Okay, guys, we are about to talk about top Wall Street analyst stocks for the long haul. Okay, we are about to check out the charts, the news, the upcoming catalyst, and match it all up with the alerts to find out if these stocks are making the discount for us. And some of these are looking better than others. Y'all know how it go, man. Make sure that you get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any updates, any analysis, any early seats, and meet us over at the Bank and With Billy Discord. You can get all of these alerts on time. Guys, I'm here trading with my team of analysts at 3 a.m. to 8 p.m. all day, every day, bringing you guys the safe, easy, early seat. And I'm encouraging everybody to check out the rap sheet so you can see what type of games that you have been missing out on. Not only will you be able to get my alerts, but you'll also be able to get the alerts from the rest of the experience. And let's stand here throwing these plays and stocks, options, crypto. And if you don't want to wait for one of us to put our alerts, you can always follow along any alerts from my bots, my momentum bot, and my hot bot are my most favorite bots to follow along with. But we will talk about those more along as the video goes. And make sure you help yourself to the profit section when you get here so you can see where everybody is locking these games in left and right. You will be getting this easy money your first day in here along with the rest of the team that's making this money off a million plays in a million ways off of stocks options crypto well, let's get right back into it though so first we got who we got first first we got costco so host on the costco is known for its resilient business model that has helped it navigate several economic downturns moreover the membership only warehouse club has a loyal customer base and genuinely enjoys re renewal rates that are at Renewal rates that are at or above 90%. Costco recently reported better than anticipated net sales growth of 6.9% and comparable sales growth of 5.6% for the four weeks ended January 29. Um, the company delivered upbeat numbers despite continued weakness in its e-commerce sales and the shift in the timing of the Chinese New Year to earlier in the new year. Following the sales report, Baird analyst Peter Benedict reaffirmed a buy rating on Costco and a $575 price target. Benedict stated with a defensive staples heavy sales mix and loyal member base. They believe shares continue to hold fundamental appeal as a rare mega cap growth staple, particularly in the face of a difficult consumer spending. Guys, and that is a huge, let's check it out. We're going to get back to the charts, check it out right now. So them having a buy rating on Costco of $575. Let's go see what this is looking at right now. Costco sitting at five hundred dollars with an average value of two point six with two point eighteen million and that market isn't even open yet we're going to see that value continue to pick up we want to check this thing out on a daily chart so we can see the overall span what what on um, frame this thing is in right now and we can see that again guys it's the same setup same strategy every single trade you don't want to buy in when those things are expensive you want to get in when they are cheap you can see that this thing was expensive at that five dollars and 41 cents before it had that sell-off all the way down to 447 dollars where it became oversold People are watching the momentum shifts on their MACD. I'm trading with my RSI, my MACD indicator. I'll explain here really fast. So my RSI, I can tell when stock is getting is safe or getting dangerous. Now, a stock is getting dangerous at overbought. If you're buying into a stock that's overbought, as you can see clearly here again, turn on your RSI and your MACD and your candlesticks, um, where that downtrend comes in, where a stock is touching in overbought. People are always going to sell that. And I'll show you another example. Let me scroll back some. People are buying in things when it's oversold. Selling things when it's overbought, buying things when it's oversold. They selling it when it's overbought, guys. I ain't just saying this for nothing. This is exactly how it works, okay? So when you see these stocks that are getting ready and these stocks are becoming overbought, people are getting ready to sell that thing off. As you can see, that happened here. As you can see, that's happening right here. Coming on this recent downtrend, okay? Now, if you can time your entries correctly, you want to catch that momentum shifting. And what I mean by the momentum shifting is by using your MACD indicator where you can see where your yellow MACD line gets to cross and under and or over that blue signal line. Right now, this thing is in a bearish momentum with the yellow MACD line getting ready to cross back under the blue signal line. You want to see how far this thing drops down before the momentum starts shifting back over. So we can see we do have some people that are buying back up in here now. They see that momentum shifting from that 495 are sitting in the market up at five hundred dollars and that volume is going to pick up fast you want to check out the analysis order flow on cots that's costco with the outflow that was going out way much greater than the inflow that's coming in with large scale million dollar usd orders that were piling out there let's see if today holds up bullish be mindful that everything that's going to go on in the markets is going to be whether the markets are bullish or bearish these markets be pushing up bullish then of course you know we be expecting to see stocks you know increase it 
he's driving down and bleeding out, you know, um, we'd be expecting to see these stocks you know, do the same exact thing. But we can see where that trend will start to kick in once the market's open up. We can see it's on the choppy on the last day, but overbought, it's turned oversold. And that oversold is always going to turn back into overbought. You want to make sure that you catch all of these on time. And so, um, when you and so when you catching these stocks on time, got uh, where are we at? So we finna check out C O S T up in this card. So C O S T. So we're going to check out C O S T and the Discord, guys. Um, let's go check this out to see exactly what the Bank of Wibbly Discord has to say about C O S T. And if this is the buy right now, C O S T. I want to see if this thing is becoming short sale restricted, getting zero shares available to short. That's all I like to look for. I want to see if big wells are buying in or selling out at the time. Again, make sure that you're timing everything correctly. When you follow along with the Bank of Wibbly Discord alerts, you'll be able to see if everything is buying up if anything i mean if big wells are buying in things if things are getting bullish and things are becoming short sale restricted right now we got a lot of big wells that have been selling out and buying there's a lot going on in costco right now okay make sure that you time your entry correctly we'll talk more about costco as it goes on let me know in the comments below if you're already holding up in there okay next we got a m z n now uh, it's going off of a major downtrend um Next, we got AN. Guys, that's 2022 is a challenging year for the e-commerce giant Amazon as a macro pressures hurt its retail business and the cloud computing Amazon web service division. Amazon's first growth sale. Now we got Amazon, guys. So 20 to 2022 was a challenging year for e-commerce giant Amazon as macro pressure hurts its retail business and the cloud computing Amazon web ser um, services division. Amazon's first quarter sales outlook of 4% to 8% reflects further deceleration compared with the 9% growth in the fourth quarter. Amazon is streamlining costs as it faces slowing top line growth, higher expenses, and continued economic turmoil. Nonetheless, several Amazon boards, including Mizuho Securities, VJ Rakish, continuing to believe in the company's long term prospects. Rakish sees a modest downside to Wall Street's consensus expectation for. 2023 revenue growth for Amazon's retail business. However, they see more downside risk to the street's consensus estimate of 20% cloud revenue growth in 2023 to compare to his revised estimate of 16%. Rackets noted that Amazon's cloud business was hit by lower demand from verticals like mortgages, advertising, and crypto in the first quarter, and that revenue growth has slowed down to the mid teens so far in the first quarter consequently rocket said that amazon stock could be volatile near term given potential downside revision risk nonetheless they reiterated a buy rating on amazon with the price of 135 dollars due to the positive term fundamentals okay and we're about to see exactly what amazon is looking like on a charts right now we will match this up with the bank of will believe discord looks we can see that they have been on that downtrend and Everybody's looking for that momentum to shift. This is looking a lot like Costco as well on that downtrend. It's starting to get a little bit of pressure that's coming back up in there. Make sure you're looking for your yellow MyD line to get the crossing back over your blue center line. We want to see this in on a closer time frame where you'll be able to see that when Amazon pushed from the heights of that $117 where it was overbought, came down to these lows of $96. Where it became a result, and we can see how the momentum is shifting in there. We got those green bars that are about to pop up. Amazon is going to go in for a reversal, okay, with an average volume of 78.51 million. Their current volume is getting up to 97.34 thousand right now. The market isn't open yet. We're going to see that volume continue to build up. And if it builds up to the average volume, especially on a bullish day, if the market is open up super bullish, then we'll see that volume start to get the outdoing the average volume. And y'all want to see close on the 15 minute chart so you can see exactly how those 
big um how that buying pressure is coming in. How people want to low when that stock becomes oversold. How that yellow money line crosses back over that blue center line with that momentum shift holding up strong with the bullishes with your red starting to cater that and close. That's your green starting to cater that popped up on bottom with the uptrend that came in. This thing is about to go in for the long haul. Like they say, check it out on your weekly chart. I mean, let's go to a monthly chart. Amazon probably won't ever be this cheap again, you know, if it actually has a major reverse coming in. Because they're looking at it on their monthly chart and seeing that full moment of shift coming in on their MACD with a yellow MACD line hitting the floor. I'll zoom in for some of you on your phones with the bad eyes. You can see exactly what I mean when I say that these red solid bars um, turn into red shaded bars. And we can see those green bars that are about to get ready to come on up in there for that big moment of shift. That's on our monthly. People are looking at that like, okay, this is the cheap. It may never be this cheap again. Amazon, I didn't get the chance to get it last time. Go get that red star indicator to flip on bottom. Like I just said, with that green, I mean, that green star indicator to flip on bottom. Another home run to Amazon. And I've been seeing Amazon alerts. AMZN alerts in the Bank of Wibbly Discord. AMZN. Oh. <laughs> AMZN. And as you'll see, it'd be, uh, it'd be a lot of options looked for Amazon. Of course, going on this discount right now, you'll be able to see if Big Wells are buying and selling in, whatever's going on at that time. And of course, you know how to take it. You see all kinds of put options that were going out while Big Wells were selling out of this thing. And right now, we got people that are about to be loading this up for a hot reversal, okay? If the markets come out to be super bullish, then, of course, be expecting these stocks to be super bullish. I made previous videos about um, Amazon. And in my options alerts, guys, I got three different variations of the options alerts down here, along with our Bank of Wood Billy and House Options Analysts that are throwing out these plays and options alerts all day, every day. Okay, make sure that you do check out the that is going on. When you get in here, you'll find the alert section for you or whoever, you know, however you like to. I don't know how everybody likes to trade, man. I'm a, I'm a swing trader. It's, you know, um, I'm going for that safe, easy, early seat. And hopefully, I get that overnight swing. I know a lot of people like to go for that day trade. So, I like to follow on closely in the momentum and hot bot. Market ain't open yet. So, momentum bot isn't really picking up much out right now. But, of course, you see that play. Go ahead and follow along real quick. You see XPON, alerts to XPON, pushing up and stuff like that. You see back when HPC. Do, do your studying, man. Do your research. Know what you're looking into. Like, it doesn't. You can. When you join, you're going to just get in and get this money. But, uh, you know, so take this take this time and opportunity to study, learn what you can, you know, make sure you master in on the trading strategy, of course, and make sure that you help yourself to the profit section when you get here so you can see where everybody is locking in these games left and right. When you get in here, you'll be getting this easy money along with the rest of the team. And if you are in here, make sure you do continue to post your games out in the profit section, okay? This is easy money when you're going to know what you're going for. You want to buy low and sell high on whatever time frame you're getting on. You'll get that easy money your first day in here, okay? Let's get right back to it, though. So, AMZN going on that discount. People are loading that thing up right now, and then it went for a quick sell off after it had that little bound upwards. Now, I'm expecting to see people continue to buy up in amazon and we're about to see a lot of people getting in there for that long-term investment as we can see that momentum is shifting as i showed you guys previously and i can show you guys again on a daily chart that people are buying these stocks when they are oversold and they're selling these stocks when they are overbought people are buying when they oversold selling when they overbought getting those quick bounds up in there you want to follow along with the pattern of buying these things when they're oversold and overbought on whatever time frame you're looking for so i'm a day trader i'm looking at my day charts and my four hour charts if you're a swing i mean i mean i'm a swing trader i'm looking at my day charts and four hour charts now if you're a day trader you probably only look you really only looking at your minute charts and whatnot but i greatly do encourage you to check out your daily chart you know no matter what you're going for every time you get to a stock so you can see the whole time frame of what's going on and i don't ever look at my two hours and my ones and 30 minutes and stuff or my threes and fives and stuff like that. I'm always going from days, fours, fifteens, and the and the one minute if I'm really if I'm if I'm, if I'm, if I'm really in there, I'm really trying to get out of there, I'm really trying to get in or something like that, you know. But um, y'all y'all don't see me day trading too much. Y'all catch me putting my day trade alerts out in the Discord sometimes. I follow along with the momentum bots and hot bots as well, you know. But I make sure that you get used to using the parabolic bot and the momentum bot if you're looking for a day trade. If you're newer to trading, it's way easier to. Telling you it's way easier to swing trade. 
I'll tell you right now, if you're new to trading this way, it's just swing trade because it gives you time to study, time to analyze, time to figure out what's going on. You can look at that news and figure out how to interpret things. And you can figure out how to read these charts and recognize these patterns and whatnot. So if you're newer to trading, you want to start off by learning going for the, the safe, easy, early season, those swing trades. And you'll find those in my videos um, where I'll be talking about the best stocks to buy that are the 52-week lows, the best stocks to buy that are oversold in a short sale restriction because of People are buying these stocks low and selling these stocks high. People aren't getting these, you know, you don't want to buy high and sell higher. So you don't want to buy a stock that's overbought. It's, you know, trying to sell more overbought. You know, you want to, you want to buy a stock that's that's oversold and then get out of there while it's overbought. Whatever time frame you feel comfortable with it at, maybe it's overbought in a 15 minute time frame now, which is going to happen in a day, especially when you got those day trades. Maybe it's overbought on that four hour in that daily chart now. Now, you know, it's been really dangerous and you're probably up 70, 100 percent. You know, if it's, if it's up that so much in a day from day traders done load that thing up real quick. And you got to understand that day traders and swing traders, they're always going to lock those gains in on you. So you're way better off being into the safe, easy, early see with a 52 week loss because people are buying low and selling high or the best oversold stocks with zero shares available to shorter short sale restrictions because people are looking for that short squeeze. Guys, these stocks that are zero shares available to short and short sale restricted that follows up with short starting to cover their shares. That brings along that short squeeze that everybody is looking for. But you'll learn more about all of that in these videos when you check them out. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Meet us over at the Bank and Whitley Discord. And next week, got Payloton. It wasn't long ago when I was talking about PTON. So the fitness equipment maker, Payloton, that's PTON, wants a pandemic darling fell out of favor following the reopening of the economy as people return to jams and competition increase payloton shares crashed last year due to a deteriorating sales and mounting losses nevertheless investor sentiment has improved for piton stock thanks to the company's turnaround effort under ceo barry mccarthy investors cheered the company's fiscal second quarter results due to higher subscription revenue even as the overall sales dropped 30 percent year over year while its losses per share narrowed from the prior year quarter, it was worse than what Wall Street projected. Like investors, J.P. Morgan analyst Doug Amnuf was also incriminating, um, incriminally positive on Payloton following the latest results, citing its cost control measures improving cash flow loss and better than anticipated connected fitness subscriptions. Admin highlighted the company's restructuring to a more variable cost structure is essentially complete. And it seems focused on achieving its goal, break even, its goal of breaking even of free cash flow by the end of fiscal 2023. And it reiterated a buy rating and raised the price target to $19 from $13, given the company's focus on restoring its revenue growth. Okay, and we're going to check out P-Ton right now to see where this thing is looking like, what it is looking like, and find out if this is the discount for us because as i just previously explained to you guys and as i same have explained to you guys in all my other videos you won't want to get in those things when they are expensive go to your weekly charts you can be able to see exactly how expensive this was for us i'm taking that dive down this thing was overbought expensive at that one dollar is at 80 188 dollars this thing got achievements is 81 dollars sitting at 97 dollars right now it's almost 100 you'll be able to see exactly how people loaded this up and i'll take you to the bank and we believe uh we still on amazon <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So, now I'm talking about Piton. So, guys, same setup, same strategy. Every single trade, you don't want to buy in when those things are expensive. You want to get in when they are cheap. And I'll take you to a week so we can see when Piton was last most expensive up here at $171. And it was what at $171? It was overbought. It was it was expensive. People wait. See, check this out. At 17, it was oversold. People loaded that up. This is on a weekly chart. Now, I don't look at my weekly charts too much. This is for you longer term investors. Because right now, um, Wall Street, and let's talk about this stock, these types of long term investment, of course. And you'll be able to see exactly how cheap these things are. Like, look at your monthly chart. Every single one of these stocks that I'm showing you is oversold and about to have a, has about to have a good reversal um, for the long term or whatnot, you know? So, yeah, of course, if you are going for these stocks for the long term, now, that that since they are about to have long term Russell, that gives us the chance to get multiple spikes up in there. If you're the swing trader, or you're the day trader. 
so many chances where you can jump on in, where you can grab yourself some shares, where you can get some quick, easy money, some quick percents here and there, you know what I mean? And it all comes down to what your personal trading strategy is, how you like to trade, what you feel comfortable with doing. If you want to get in for the long haul, right here again, right now, these are the safe ETLs. It's not too late to get in there. Check out P-Ton. That's about to have a major reversal. As you know now that you want to get in while these things are oversold, you want to get out while they overbought. You find a stock that's going from oversold to overbought, and then people selling out those shares, only people become bag holders out of those ranges right there. These are these are the formations that make bag holders right here when people don't want to sell off those things because of their fear with they they fear they feel with greed. They feel with greed, and then you got all these people that's buying up here in between while stock is on its way down from a downtrend because because they 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 feel with the FOMO. You know, you want to watch out for the greed in here and the FOMO up in here. You want to make sure you can get in that safe, easy, early seat down here. Turn your RSI and your MACD indicators. You'll always be able to see exactly what this next trend is about to be. So, you know, your RSI, you see the stock come, come over. So, and you again, you're looking for your yellow MACD line. I'll zoom in as those of you on, the, on your phones or whatever with the bad eyes. You can see your yellow MACD line crossing back over your blue signal line, indicating that up trend. People got a P time from that $7 up to that 17 they was looking at P-Ton at their monthly chart and said, wow, up at $171 with a red star indicator in closing with the MACD that's shifted in the momentum. Got a big uptrend coming in, um, P-Ton. Like they say, for the long-term investment, you can get multiple spikes in here if you can time it correctly. And we'll see what the Bank of Wit Billy Discord has to say about P-Ton most recently. Uh, Y'all know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for short sale restrictions and stuff like that. Let's see. We can see that Peton's coming out with all kinds of call, all kinds of options or whatnot. Um, again, you can follow along in the options alerts or with the uh, options the bank will be released in house options analysts. All kinds of options alerts going on for Peton. Mm, no short sale restrictions coming in just yet, but it's a whole lot of options coming out. Come on, we'll make sure you put this thing on your watch list. Like uh, this is about to be easy money. Peton is Peton is super cheap right now. Peton is at the lower levels right now and. I'll tell you guys my favorite on this list. My favorite on this list is BGRY, and we'll talk about that. I made that one in another video. But P Ton is looking great actually right now. It looks like it's about to have an incoming hot reversal for the long haul. Of course, that does come down to if they bring those sales in, if they like you guys, you, you know, you can check out their balance sheet and everything. Like you got total assets out doing total liabilities for their debt to asset ratio that is raising up. That is that downtrend that was going on. We go back to our weekly chart. We can compare these last few quarters and zoom out some to the downtrend that was going on before this thing really started to flatten back out. And we're looking to see if that debt to asset ratio gets down now in the next upcoming um, report. And again, people are about to load this thing up because it's cheap. A lot of people, this, these are on people's watch lists being so cheap. People are just waiting for their chance to get in Microsoft when this thing started to hit the lows, okay? And you see how this thing got as cheap as that $219. We'll see what they have to say about Microsoft. So the artificial intelligence driven growth plans have triggered positive sentiment about the tech behemoth recently. The company plans to power its search engine Bing and internet browser engine with chat gpt like technology on the downside the company's december quarter revenue growth and subdued guidance reflected near-term headwinds due to continued weakness in the pc market and a slowdown in its azure cloud business as enterprises are tightening their spending that said azure's long-term growth potential seems attractive tigers financial analyst who ranks 137 out of 8,000 analysts tracked by temp rates opens their Opens that while near term headwinds could slow growth down. A more and more personal segment, Microsoft segments and AI will drive its future. First safe reiterated a buy rating in, on Microsoft and maintain a price target of four hundred and eleven dollars. OK, and we're going to see exactly what Microsoft is looking like right now. But they said they said four hundred eleven dollars. This thing. Before it dove down, it was only at 346 on a major uptrend consistently. Microsoft was, of course, one of those stocks that did nothing but consistently uptrend. Making it to the heights of <coughs> making it to the heights of $346. You can see how this thing went on that downtrend. You don't want to buy in when those things are expensive. You want to get in when they are cheap. With an average volume of 30.43 million, a current volume is only getting up to 150,000. The market is open now. We're going to see a lot of volume coming on up in there. This thing is still overbought, like I was showing you guys on these. That most recent, um, that most recent downtrend is coming. 
in these stocks. You got Microsoft going on this downtrend. You can see how your momentum is shifting on your MACD. Make sure you turn on your RSI and your MACD indicator. With that downtrend, you'll be able to see exactly when that when the stock is oversold. Then the moment it shifts on the MACD, yellow MACD line cross over the blue signal line. Oh, that, that uptrend begins and people will be able to uh, ride that bullishness with that with that green star indicator all the way to the top. While the stock is at 219, all the way up to that $276. And then they'll be able to lock it in. They'll be able to lock that in. Watch that momentum shift. Watch that yellow MID line getting ready to cross back under that blue signal line. Okay. And then they'll have that next recent, mo that, that most recent downtrend to come in. Now, a stock sometimes won't dive all the way back down. It doesn't have to dive all the way back down. It's going to level out. It's going to level out somewhere. It's going to find support somewhere. And then it's going to make a new level up. And again, right now, Microsoft is at these major, major lows. Big momentum shift coming in, which showed yellow my D line getting ready to cross back over the blue signal line. Because again, same setup, same strategy. Every single trade, you don't want to buy in when those things are expensive at $346. You want to get in while they're cheap down at $200. But before they make it back up to $300, while that momentum is shifting, then your RSI is about to pop back up in a range while all the odds are starting to get back on it and make sure you check out your balance sheets. Microsoft has total assets out doing total liabilities quarter over quarter with their debt to asset ratio looking low, looking pretty good, right? Check it out on our annual. Same thing. Total assets building up over to liabilities and their debt to asset ratio even got all the way down. These are, I mean, it's a lot of signs you can look for. And we can see what the Bank of Wibbly Discord has to say about MSFT. MSFT. All kinds of options, alerts, of course, all kinds of options, alerts, all kinds of options, puts, calls, calls, very extremely highly volatile stocks and whatnot. Man, and let me know in the comments below if you're holding in on any of these stocks and how far you think they will go. You can see all news, all everything that's going on. You'll be able to see it. Make sure we're on the cutting edge of alerts, breaking news. Microsoft unveils a new AI power, Bing Search and Edge Power. Oh, that came out a couple days ago. We're going to look into that. We will show how AI will reshape, will reshape search. Oh, guys, Microsoft, man. Let me know in the comments below if you're holding it. Microsoft is holding a new event on Tuesday. What else there's 2-6. Tuesday at its headquarters. The event comes as it boosts its AI investments. But they didn't disclose content of the news events. Right, we're going to into that okay so i'm making a video talking about all of that make sure you do get subscribed to the channel so you can get all of these updates on time guys and make sure that you meet us over at the bank with the discord because i'm throwing out these alerts all day every day bringing you guys to safe easy early seeks I, I believe that trading is easy i remember when trading was hard i didn't know what i was looking for back when you know everybody took losses and this is the thing i, I have the it took me to take a take a bunch of losses, mess up the portfolio, you know, to take to, you know, have some risky moves to learn how to move more correctly, how to how to create my natural consistency, how to how to be and everybody in the bank with Discord has created their own natural consistency using this trading strategy of buying these things low and selling them high. Um I'm, you know, I figure everybody trades that way, you know. <laughs> but but here, what we what we got next, okay? So we got Mobile Eye Glove with us. Ivan Fine Self is an optimistic mobile eye and BLY, a rapidly growing provider of technology that powers advanced driver assistance systems and self driving systems. Chip giant Intel still owns a majority of mobile eye shares. Fine Self noted that mobile eye continues to see solid demand for its industry leading technology. He expects the company to increasingly benefit from the growing adoption of. ADAS technology by original equipment manufacturers. Now, the company is also at an advantage due to the rise of demand in the auto industry for sophisticated camera systems and sensors used in ADAS and safe driving systems. Furthermore, FindSelf sees opportunities for the company in the autonomous mobility as a service or AMAAS space, guys. And Stock market is breaking out. We'll check that out later on. And now um, I lost my place. The company is also at an advantage due to the rise in demand in the auto industry for sophisticated camera system sensors used in. Oh, uh, so fine stuff said there is a potential for mobile eyes revenue to grow to grow to over 17 billion dollars by 20 by 2030 backed by the company's significant r d investments first mover advantage and industry leading product portfolio combined with significant oem relationships he projected a potential addressable market of nearly 500 billion dollars by the end of the decade given mobile numerous strengths find self raises price target to 
$52. That's for $44. So reiterated a buy rating. We are about to go check that out right now. What stock was that? MBLY. And on our monthly chart, we see that this thing has most recently come out towards the end of last year, going from $24, ultimately making it up to $45. And on our daily chart, we'll be able to see how this thing has been on that uptrend. People have been buying this thing, selling this thing off, too. Getting that, that volatility has been building up. I bet that you can see how the average value is on $2.30. Million and this volume is on on volume almost at a thousand right now. Let's take our analysis order flow. We've been having most recent these large scale wells that was going out for these last few days. They were seeing this thing push up here towards overbought. Check it out on your daily chart. They were seeing this thing put and, and I don't even need to look at the charts to even be noticing all that stuff like that. It comes down to be getting when you get more experience in the markets, you'll be able to just notice everything, especially in your candlesticks, like when you turn your candlestick um, charts. If you're not, if you don't got those on, I just encourage you to just do it right now. You might as well. And so you'll be able to see all that day in between. Like right now, I can see all the, I can see all the day in between every single candlestick. You know what I mean? And when and bust it, and I can see in that 15 minute time frame on your smaller time frames. You know, you know how to hone in on stuff and stuff like that. When you know how to, when you recognize patterns, I guess you just recognize patterns and recognize trend lines and all that good stuff like that. And if you're trading with so many indicators, um. Things get kind of confused, and man, I can't trade with too many indicators. Well, I, I I be seeing people charts and stuff, and they'll have about you know seven, twenty, all kinds, all kinds of different trend lines going, you know, lines going all across every which way, and I'm like, man, I don't even know how you read this thing right now. Make it easier for yourself. Make it basic for yourself. You got your RSI that is overbought, and you got your MACD that's telling you this thing is about to downtrend, and that's all you need to see. It's as simple as that. In fact, I'm looking at my RSI and my MACD more than I'm looking at anything. I'm looking at my RSI and my MACD indicator more than I'm even looking at the chart. As soon as I'm getting to my chart, I'm looking right at the RSI because I want to see if that thing is over. So, I now see that MBLY is going to walk. I want to be able to wait off a couple of days with the patience fit to make its most recent um its most recent uptrend. You'll be able to follow see this, and you'll be able to see how the moment of shifts here. On a four hour chart, you want to be able to follow along accordingly to all of that. If people are looking at MBLY for that long haul, okay? If people are, people, there's people though, this thing out, they're not letting this thing go. Then this thing probably push on because it might continue push on. But let's see what MBLY has to be said in the Bank of Wibbly Discord. MBLY. I'd be looking for these things to become short sell restricted and stuff like that. If these stocks aren't becoming short sell restricted, then it's just like it. But we can see where MBL wise get picked up. Momentum plays. Keep on scrolling down. We'll even see more. It's a lot more to see. Okay. Momentum plays across the board. If you would have. Let's see. Momentum. This is my. This is our momentum scanner. Momentum. I want to see where this began. Let's scroll down. Go back to page two. MBLY. MBLY is getting picked up. Pushed down. You'll be able to see all of these alerts from the volume tickers to the um, put options to all, all kinds of stuff, man. And make sure that you, and if you don't know how to trade along with the bots and stuff like that, you know, you've always waited for me to throw out my alert. I'm always throwing out these alerts all day, every day in the Bank of Wibbly Discord along with the, along with my team of experienced analysts that's throwing out these plays of stocks options crypto guys the whole shambles and i'm encouraging everybody to check out the rap sheet to see what type of games you have been missing out on next we got b g r y guys it's on a major discount from 13 dollars and 45 cents this goes all the way down to 51 cents it's about to have a major income reversal well, let's see what they have to say about bgry i've made a video about bgry no bgry is even on the list but it's on my list so we still gonna talk about it. So BGRY right now is going on this major discount. Okay, and for those of you who do not know exactly what BGRY is, Berkshire Gray is an intelligent enterprise robotics company. Now this company delivers artificial intelligence enabled robotic solutions that automate filing e-commerce orders for consumers or businesses, filing under to resupply retail stores and grocery stores, and handling package ships to fill those orders. Its technology is enabled to offer its holistic solutions that automate supply supply chain operations the company solutions include moving goods to robots that that then pick 
impact e-commerce or retail orders, robotically moving and organizing inventory and orders within the warehouse or logistic facility and robotically sorting packages and shipments. Guys, this is on its uptrend right now. With average volume of 1.29 million with a current volume of 10 million. Check out your daily chart. We're looking to see how that thing is just not making its most recent downtrend from two um from two dollars fifty one cents going down as low as is one dollar and forty seven cents where you be able to see how people bought that thing when it was oversold and we'll go back in the bank will be discord to check out bgry and exactly how you could have caught this in time so check this out bgry follow along with all of the alerts in the bank and Wibbly discord you know miss out on anything all kinds of options alerts looking for these things to become short sale restricted so on and so forth I love to see these short sales trips because those turn into those hot reverses. And even right now, so like I say, back at the end of the year, when these things are coming short sale restricted, and these things are starting to become bullish now. Um, to the to the more recent zero shares available to the short and whatnot. Go back to your chart to check this out. If you were paying attention towards the end of the year when it's becoming short sale restricted, you would have caught that uptrend in time. And people sell when that thing becomes overbought. Go back to your flower chart. Right now, you can see the momentum beginning to shift up in there. That's that momentum shift on that MACD, and people are getting ready to get in a safe, easy, early seat because they're looking at BGRY. BGRY, like the rest of these, cheap, oversold, and about to have a big, long haul reversal. But, guys, these stocks are on a major discount right now if you talk about the long haul. Make sure that you check out my previous videos so you can see what's best to buy now for the current swing trades. Okay, my 52 week lows are oversold. Meet us in the Bank of Waverly Discord to get all alerts on time. I'll catch you guys up in here and happy trading.